So this is a Pico project that we developed for the for Hero as well. So what it does actually, there is a magnet that works with through this pogo pin as well. So it's as easy as like this. You you clip, and then it's paired. So when you power on the phone, then you can see the lights. It's uh, it's turned up. So when the the, the light turn green, it's fully paired. Then actually, then in the software, you can see that there is a pop-up icons already here. That means that you, you simply click this button. And then you can see that actually the Pogo, Pogo projector is already worked. So, what do you call it? Uh, the Pico projector. Pico projector. So you can see that even the, even the display, when I put it in this way, is the, even I hold the phone in the landscape, it's actually the screen is a portrait because it fit for the mode. So when I... I start to demo. So if I make a video show here, you can see. So any kind of video player works, and then uh, you just click one of them. And if you look at here, it's already start to mode, turn to the landscape mode so that you can really, really see that uh, you, you project your movies on the wall, on your home, uh, in, in the root of your house, etc. Yeah. This is a good gadget for camping. There is no battery inside, it's really fully powered by the phone. Nice. So what is the technology of this projector? This is a laser beam. Uh, laser beam projector is not yet available in the market. We we developed together with our partner on this one. So it's not DLP, it's not Elka. It's it's, uh, it's a laser beam. So who makes this secret or? Uh, so far, we are not allowed yet okay. to disclose who is our partnership. Yeah. Okay. So laser beam, why? Why do you use that technology here? Uh, laser beam, why we use this one? Because one of the one of the issue for the consumer is that uh, you never know where should focus. You know, uh, if you have to adjust the focus, and then it will be less interesting. But with the laser beams, it's always provide you to always focus things, and then you can beam it in a wall. You can beam it in even with a bigger display or bigger in a with a bigger size of it. So. Uh, and the uh, end user just decided which movie or which okay. screen they want to... So it's just like, it's super easy. It's just on the, on the table and yeah. it just pairs. Yeah. Just uh, lots of magnet strength in here. Yeah, exactly. Right. So, and it's super compact prototype? and convenient. Yeah, this is a prototype. Uh, I didn't measure it because to lie, I think it's yeah. less than 20 gram or something. So. No battery in here. There is no battery in here, and there is a there is a optical module inside, and with the ICs together inside, and it goes through the HDMI signal. So it's kind of like a, this connector that you have here is also like it, HDMI also. Yes, it provides the, the all the HDMI uh, standard go through this six uh, pin to here. So you also have MHL or? Uh, this one we don't have MHL support on the so on the phones. So everything you do in here, yeah. There will be even a TV dock, or there uh, is. Sorry, well, what do you mean a TV dock? Connecting to the TV. Oh uh, no, the, for the for for this one for the TV connection is not necessary to go through connector yeah. because we provide the mirror cast. A mirror cast can do. Yeah, so nice. that is very easy. We have an, uh, another accessory we call TV link. But this this video connection goes to the projector. But do you do it with anything else too? The video connection was only for this uh, video support. No, this one is uh, basically you whatever you display here can display through this Pico projector. But so, do you have any other other accessories that's gonna support the video output on this on this connector? Or? So far, this is the only one because the the video the video connections that we can do the other things. That right? for example, this is a TV link we have. It support uh, it support the mirror cast. So all, all you want to do, all you need to do is actually this is a, you can see this is a HDMI connect connector, nice. and you just plug it on the back of your TV on the on the HDMI connect connection, and then this is only Miracast, not Android. No, uh, this is a Miracast, yeah. So Miracast DLNA, which is Miracast. It's Miracast through Wi-Fi Wi-Fi display. That's cool. Uh, what is CPU in here? Is it? Uh, it's a. Uh, it's uh, Broadcom inside. Broadcom. Yeah. Broadcom ARM CPU for just for Miracast. 
It's yes. not for free, is it? Yeah, it's not for free, but it's not expensive. Like 39? Uh, uh, 39, below 49? 50 in retail price, I believe. Yeah. Cool. So uh, this one is already available in the market. We have but the, you're going to work with any device? Yeah, this, this one can work for most of our devices that can support Miracast. For example, Idol X can, can work with this one as well. 4.2 only? And up or 4.1 or Android version that supports? Uh, we develop a specific uh, Miracast software on that, but I believe that up to 4.2, you already by default have the Miracast in the in the in the phone. Yeah. How much do you want to sell this for? This one, uh, we don't have the price yet because it's a prototype, and then uh, again that the the specific. The module, the camera, uh, sorry, the optical module is in size that has not been commercialized yet with, uh, from our kind of size. Before Christmas or what's the plan? This and this, uh, maybe before Christmas. We hope, we can hope. Uh, difficult to say that we would like to get the feedback from the market first. Yeah. Or maybe Chinese New Year. Yeah, uh, can be expected. Yeah.